today I'm going to be doing a game of 21 questions and this is just some random article I found on the internet so the questions aren't mine but let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is what is the TLDR version of your life? Now I didn't know what that means so I had to really quickly urban dictionary that one before we started and basically it means too long didn't read so I guess that just means like a cliff note version of my life. Um, I guess I would say that I'm just a single girl who just turned 30, really happy to be alive, very grateful, and I'm just happy to explore. I'm very, you know, curious and creative, and I'm just ready to travel the world and maybe have a relationship soon. So the next question is, what should they teach you in school but don't? This one, I think there should be, I've said this before, um, we have a PE class, physical education class, but I think there should be an ME class, like mental education. I think they should teach you about taking care of your mind and staying healthy that way, because that's the best way you're gonna succeed in life. I also think there should be a class on taxes because to this day, I still don't understand. Um, next one, what inscription do you want on your gravestone? I think I would want my gravestone to say that Sophia was very real and very kind to others and lived her best life. What is a cause that is worth dedicating your life to? I would say I'm very passionate about, like I said, mental health, but more so self-love and confidence. I would love to be able to teach others how to love themselves and how to be confident in their own skin because you only get one life and you gotta love yourself to succeed. So anything that helps people, maybe even like with therapy, I don't have a specific charity in mind, but I think just spreading that word and teaching people how to love themselves to the fullest is a great cause. Um, what should parents stop teaching their children? Okay, this one is interesting because I don't have kids and I'm not here to judge, but I definitely think parents should stop teaching their kids how to be realistic. I think they should encourage kids to dream and believe in themselves and, you know, stop shutting them down, I guess, the way some parents do. Um, is it okay to sacrifice one life to save 10? Yes, of course. I think it's more important to save 10 lives and yeah, of course. Sacrifice one life to save 10 for sure. Um, how much do you change when you know no one is around? I don't really think I change that much. I pretty much am an open book. Yeah, I really don't think I change that much. I guess depends on the situation and the person, but generally I'm pretty real and I'm pretty much myself. Okay, this is a stupid one. How useful would you be in a zombie apocalypse? I don't know, like give me a gun and sure, I guess I would be fine, but like there's probably not gonna be a zombie apocalypse anytime soon, so. I mean, I, I'm i sure I would be great when things get real and things get intense. I would know how to throw down. I'm not like a little priss, you know? Okay, how much do you know about the world outside your country? This one I'm t ashamed to say, not very much. I really do need to follow the news more and learn more about the world. I recently, as you can see, this photo that I need to get hung up still, but it's a picture of an airplane because I want to start traveling more. So I would love to travel more so that I can learn more about other cultures and everybody around the world. But the answer is I don't know a lot, to be honest. Which movie or book do you think is ridiculously overrated? I didn't love the Fifty Shades of Grey books. I liked the movies, but I bought all three books and I couldn't get through it. I just was bored for some reason, but obviously the movies I loved. Um, I've never seen the Harry Potty... <laughs> I've never seen the Harry Potter movies, which I feel like I would love that. But again, I've kind of watched the first movie, but I've just fallen asleep. So I don't know. I got to give it another chance. Who would you most like to sit next to on a 10 hour flight and why? Um, even though she's not alive, Marilyn Monroe probably, I just think she's so beautiful and feminine and has such an interesting life. Or Albert Einstein, because obviously he's a genius. Um, but somebody that's alive, Joe Dispenza, Dr. Joe Dispenza, for sure. He's all about like 
quantum physics and meditation and all that stuff. I'm really into that right now. So probably him. I would pick his brain a lot. What are two things you know you should... Okay, they misspelled this. What are two things you know you should how to but don't? I'm assuming no, you should know how to do but don't. Um, what do I not know how to do? I don't know. I feel like I know how to do everything that I need to know how to do. I can't think of one. I can't drive a stick or like a standard car, but I don't really need to know that. Okay, so I guess I'll just skip that one. What is something that you've done that you wish you could undo? I don't have regrets. I really don't. Like, I'm such a believer in everything happens for a reason. So I don't really have regrets. But I guess in the past, I wish I had taken better care of my body. I've only recently been eating really healthy and started working out. A couple years ago, I used to be a really big stoner and I just feel like that was terrible for like my growth and I was in therapy, it wasn't getting me anywhere. I was just kind of staying one place in life. So I guess I wish I quit weed sooner. I haven't smoked in a few years now, but at the time it was like, I was just stuck in one spot in life and wasn't really growing. So I guess that. What do most people think about you that is absolutely not true? I don't know what people say about me, but I feel like just because I have a big following on Instagram, people probably assume that like, oh, I have all these guys after me and I'm such a like slut or whatever, or I use guys or they buy me stuff. It's absolutely not true. I've been single for six years to the point where it's like, okay, I'm like ready for a relationship now, but I'm happy being single. I'm really glad with where I'm at, but I've never had a guy buy me anything. Everything I've bought, I've bought myself or got it through Instagram. So I don't like when people assume that I'm one of those girls and because I go out a lot too like I have a very big social life and like I like to party people probably think that oh you know I don't know if that makes sense but um what is something that can't be taught and can only be learned with age I have to say confidence you know you can tell people not to care what other people think but you're just not going to get there until you have more life experience so I would say confidence do you think the convenience of technology is worth the loss of privacy that it comes with it? No, because I've made a living off of, you know, social media and stuff like that. So I'm really grateful for it. And I love being able to see what everybody else is up to. So I'm all for it. What are the consequences of everyone having instant distraction at their fingertips? Nobody's present. And that's the one thing I guess that isn't the best is we're so used to getting that quick fix from our phone and nobody's in the moment. So that's what I would say. What makes you say, what was I thinking when you look back on your life? When I was in high school and going tanning, like I would go tanning twice a day sometimes. I'm sure we all have that regret, but yeah, there were definitely times where I was way too tanned and it's not good for your skin. If you could live your life again, knowing what you do now, what would you change? <sighs> you, I mean, if I had like the growth that I have now, it's like that confidence thing, not caring what other people think and just living your best life, I guess. You have $100 to burn. All of your friends are busy and you have the whole day to yourself. What do you do? I'm gonna go get a massage. I love going to the spa and relaxing. Definitely spa girl, go to the spa. Okay, this is the last question. If you could be born again and choose what nationality, gender, and race to be, what would you choose? That's a bit of a controversial question, so um, I'm not gonna answer that, but I'm very happy with who I am. I love being a woman. I love my life, so I'm gonna keep it the way it is. Anyway, those are all the questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.